Hello and welcome to week 9 NFL predictions. Let's just get right into it, starting with the 2-5 Jets, coming off of a big win over the Bengals, 34-31, where Mike White came out of nowhere and threw for 400 yards and three touchdowns in that game. Colts come off of a close loss, also 34-31, in overtime to the Titans. I like the Colts' defense a lot in this one. I think I think it's going to be a close, close game, but I think the Colts are going to win it 27-23 over the Jets. And now we have the 7-1 Cardinals taking on the 3-4 49ers. Car Cardinals coming off of their first loss on the season to the Packers, 24-21. Really, really close game, came down to the wire. Uh, Cardinals just couldn't, couldn't make it happen, though. 49ers come off of a win over the Bears, 33-22. I think this is a bounce-back week for the Cardinals. They've already played the 49ers and won 17-10. It was a pretty close game. I think this one's going to be a two-score game. I'm going to say 31-21 over the 49ers. And now we have the 4-4 four four Browns going up against the 5-3 Bengals. Browns coming off of a loss from the Steelers, 15-10. The Bengals, like I said earlier, are coming off of a close loss from the Jets, 34-31. I, I know the Browns have had a lot of injuries, but they do have Baker Mayfield and Nick Chubb back this week. And the Bengals' defense kind of got ex exposed a little bit, especially with these short underneath passes and checkdowns. I think the Browns are going to need to, need to uh, take advantage of that in order to win this game. I think it's going to be a close 24-21 win for the Browns. Now we have the 4-4 four four Broncos facing off against the 6-1 Dallas Cowboys. Broncos coming off of a win over the Washington football team 17-10. Cowboys also coming off of a win uh, over the Vikings in a really back, back and forth game 20-16. I think the Cowboys have been great all season, especially on offense, averaging 32 points and almost 500 yards of total offense. On the other hand, the Broncos' offense has really been holding them back. Their defense has played pretty solid, only allowing 17 points a game. I don't think it's going to be enough. I think the Cowboys win 30-20 to over the Broncos. Now we have the 1-7 Texans facing off against the 1-7 Dolphins. Texans coming off of a loss from the Rams, 38-22. to Dolphins also coming off of a loss from the Bills, 26-11. to Both are on losing streaks. Uh, I think the Texans' offense has struggled a lot this season, putting up only 14 points. I think it's the lowest on average in the league. And their defense also allowing 30 points uh, allowed per game. Dolphins has, has, hasn't been much better, allowing 29 points a game and averaging 17.3 points per game. It's going to be a close one. I think the Dolphins get their second win of the year, 24-17 to over the Texans. Now we have the 3-4 Falcons going up against the 5-2 Saints. Falcons coming off of a close loss from the Panthers, 19-13. Saints come off, coming off of a big win over the Buccaneers, 36-27. Saints defense has really stepped up the past few weeks, especially in the last game. They've only allowed 18 points uh, per game this season, uh, which is one of the best in the league. Uh, their offense has also been pretty good this season. I know Jameis Winston is out. I still, I'm still going to take the Saints, 28-20 over the Falcons. Now we have the 5-2 Raiders facing off against the 2-6 Giants. Raiders coming off of a bye week, and the Giants are coming off of a close 20-17 loss from the Chargers on Monday night. The Giants offense has really struggled the past few weeks, only putting up 19 points a game. Raiders offense, on the other hand, has played pretty solid this season. I like the Raiders in this one in a close 20-24 win over the Giants. Now we have the 4-4 four four Patriots facing off against the 4-4 four four Panthers. Patriots coming off of a close win over the Chargers, 27-24. Panthers also coming off of a win over the Falcons, 19-13. I think the Patriots are better than what their record shows. They've had a few big wins and a few really close losses against some good teams. Uh, they put up 54 against the Jets a couple weeks ago. They're, they've really been kind of on and off this season, but so have the Panthers, especially on offense. Uh, I think this is going to be a close one. I'm going to say Patriots 24-20 over the Panthers. Now we have the 5-2 Bills going up against the 1-6 Jaguars. Bills coming off of a win over the Dolphins, 26-11. And the, the Jaguars are coming off of a loss to the Seahawks, 31-7. Uh, I think the Bills offense has been one of the best in the league, putting up 32 points and almost 410 yards a game. The Jaguars, on the other hand, have really struggled on both offense and defense. Uh, I think they're going to get another win this season, but I don't think it's going to be this one. I'm going to say Bills 34-21 over the Jaguars. Now we have the 3-4 Vikings going up against the 5-2 Ravens. Vikings com coming off of a close loss from the Cowboys, 20-16. The Ravens coming off of a bye week, and the week before that coming off of a big loss from the Bengals, 41-17. I think the Ravens' offense has been spectacular with uh, Lamar Jackson leading with 10 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. 
almost 200, almost 2,000 yards passing, but he also leads their team in rushing with 480 and two touchdowns. I think Kirk Cousins has played pretty solid this season with 14 touchdowns, two interceptions, also almost 200 or 2,000 yards passing. I think it's going to be a really interesting matchup. I'm going to say 24 to 26 Ravens. Now we have the four and three Chargers going up against the three and five Eagles. Chargers, like I said earlier, coming off of a loss from the Patriots, 27 to 24. Eagles coming off of a big win over the Lions, 44 to six. Chargers have have had back-to-back -back losses this week, and the Eagles are I think are finding their rhythm a little bit. I'm gonna go with the upset on this one. I think the Chargers lose three in a low row. I'm gonna say 23 to 24 Eagles. Now we have the 7-1 Packers facing off against the 4-4 four four Chiefs. Packers coming off of a big win over the Cardinals, 24-21. Chiefs also coming off of a win over the Giants, 20-17. The Packers are on a seven-game win streak, and I think the Chiefs' defense really worries me. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I'm going to say Packers win close, 34-31 over the Chiefs. Now we have the 6-2 Titans facing off against the 7-1 Rams. Titans coming off of an overtime win over the Colts, 34-31. And the Rams also coming off of a win over the Texans, 38-22, which is a four-game win streak for them. They also just picked up Vaughn Miller, and I think their offense has, has played just as well as their defense has, putting up 30 points a game and over 410 yards uh, per game as well. The Titans did just lose Derrick Henry. They, they also signed Adrian Peterson. I think it's going to take a couple weeks for them to get back into their, their rhythm. I'm going to say uh, Titans lose and Rams win 30-21 in, in a somewhat close game. Now we have the 3-5 Bears facing off against the 4-3 Steelers. Bears come off, coming off of a loss from the 49ers, 33-22. Steelers coming off of a win over the Browns, 15-10. Steelers are on a three-game win streak and the Bears are on a three-game losing streak. I think both teams keep their streaks alive. I think the Steelers win in a close, somewhat low-scoring 21-17 win over the Bears. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to post your predictions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.